Now, what's the tendency with the stroke? Is there, is there any tendencies at all? Um, I always kind of like end up like over here. Okay. I like drag it like inside. Okay. And then the club face is like also like closed like that. So you're okay. like pulling it. There's three things you, ha you need to be in order to be a good putter. I can get you to roll it online all day long. Yeah. But here's the thing. If you read greens incorrectly or you can't line up to that spot, you got like a 100% chance of missing the putt yeah. if, you're if you're rolling it perfect. So my big thing with my guys is I want to make sure, I want to make sure that I have, number one, you can read it. Number two, you can align to that spot. And number three, you can roll it online. Everybody practices rolling it online. Mm -hmm. But nobody practices the process of all three. So this is our training aid. This thing is as simple as it gets. The boys love it. I mean, I just, a bunch of the players been using it. Um, it's, it's a straight putt no matter what. Oh, nice. <laughs> and you know, here's what's cool about this thing. I, I've just, you know, after watching so many strokes over the years, yeah. putting plates are great, you know, I, yeah, awesome. You know, you can do the same thing here with two tees directly on the outside of that. You can put two tees to frame your putter on this thing. This is the train track for your putting stroke, mm -hmm. okay? Here's the cool thing. Five inches of the back stroke should be dead straight back before it that starts to naturally arc. Yeah. For a player like you who's getting it offline, you know, this thing paints the picture. So what's great is you don't even have to, you don't even have to have a ball in there. You can just get the putter down and just practice the path of your stroke. Does that make sense? And it's understanding that, you know, your hands are going straight back, straight through. Your putter's on a natural arc. Yeah. But... What I'm trying to illustrate is this. From here to here, that midline should be knifing that line right there. See that? And then watch, watch it start to, start to naturally arc after that. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. And that's where you can get on there and paint that picture for yourself. The great thing about this thing is you can pull the ball up. There's a little groove right there so you don't have to bend down. Then for like setup, like what should I be like focusing the on? The setup is, here, here, go, ahead and set, go ahead and set up again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something here. I'm glad you asked that question because that was the next topic here. Bring your arms up, clamp that in. I know it feels awkward a little bit. Hit a putt with that thing clamped in there and tell me how that feels. See how perfect that stroke was? I mean, that, you, I mean you hit, obviously, I don't, I don't care about speed, but you, yeah, yeah. you hit that like perfect. Now, do you feel what that does? Try to see if you can tell me what that does without me telling you. Um. It makes you just like rock your shoulders. Yeah. Did you, you feel like literally you did had zero hands when you hit that? Yeah, like zero. Zero hands. And what's cool is, Kev, get down there on a worm's eye view of the stroke. Do a good job holding your finish. Okay. On this one, you can do this with alignment rod, guys. A towel can work, but I like the alignment rod a lot or just a, another club. This will be a very frozen face through impact right here. Yeah. Yeah. And all that does is it shows you where the connection is built in putting. Uh -huh. You should have your core slightly tight, okay? Like you're doing a sit-up. You should have your elbows pulled in, not on the side of your body, then your hands become overactive in front of you. And when you tighten your core and the elbows bring, come in, well, now you can really hit the ball with the triangle here, right? Yeah. And, you know, I've heard people say they hit it with their upper back muscles almost right here. Like these are going like that. I mean, there's others that just rock the shoulders. You know where I feel it from? Honestly, I feel like I hit it from like right here. I feel like it just, the center just moves with my hands, just, right? Okay. So it, but, but that's connection and putting. Yeah. So when I get over a three footer and I'm, and I'm jittery, I'm not sitting there worried about what my hands are gonna do because I built that connection from here and I feel like my core and my hands are all connected and the putt is being more hit with my body as opposed to just simply my hands. Okay. And for like the grip pressure, like, is it I kind feel of like it's the same in both hands. Honest to God, I mean, here's the thing. I feel like it's a five out of ten. I think you hold on to it. Five out of ten is not squeezing the life out of it, mm. but it's also at the same time it has control of it. What happens to me if I'm gripping like this? The putter's. If somebody tells me one, two, three, four out of ten, the putter's going to move in my hands. Yeah. Okay. I grip it to the point to where I feel like I have control of it, but I'm not strangling it. Mm -hmm. I do feel like I'm really like. Um, my dad used to do this to me. He used to come up to me and be like, are you ready? And I'd be like, what? Yeah. He'd be like, you ready? And he'd throw a little hook right in here. And he wanted me to tighten up. And he's like, I need you feeling the same way over every golf shot you hit. That tension gets built here. Tension's built right here. But right here, I'm a, I'm a five out of 10 at all times. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, I never really like, thought about the, the core. Core. Dude, when I'm telling you, you're going to have a big putt this next semester to yeah. win a tournament or get a great finish. And I'm telling you, you're going to remember this uh -huh. and get behind it. In through the nose, out through the mouth, relieve that, relieve that muscle tension. Keep your eye right on your line. Walk in, connecting yourself right to that line. Tighten that core right there. Feel like you're pushing down into a scale when you stand on the ground. Like you're pushing down and almost adding weight into that scale. Mm -hmm. That gets the body locked in. Okay. And then you can soften up those arms and guess what? Right down the line. But this right here is great because it's a straight putt no matter what. It yeah. paints the picture of a straight line to the spot that you want to aim. So you got to read it correctly in order to get it running online and then you can run it down that line so for you something like that would be great for just going around the green picking different putts putting the ruler down that tests your eyesight to see if you got the right break yeah and then after that your alignment gets better from using it your stroke will be more connected and as a result of putting on that as well so practicing you know and then and then when you get off the ruler i recommend only being on that for you know, if I had a session for an hour, yeah. I'd only be on that thing for like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. And I'd be going around hitting random putts, not sticking in one spot, practicing my process. Go behind it, read it, walk into a spot, set up, hit it to your spot. Hey, you want to know a little secret? I'll tell you guys this though. It's a big mistake for people to say pendulum sometimes because it does not point at the middle of your body and then point back at the middle of your body. That's adding loft through impact and closing the face. Mm. The end of the club, the grip, should point at the left armpit at the point of impact. Does that make sense? That's a little bit of the handle ahead that drags the face with a de-lofted club face. The ball position is one inch forward, so that's one inch ahead of the top of the pendulum, which means I'm slightly going to be swinging up with a de-lofted face, which means topspin. Okay. And a stable face, which means I'm not losing it through impact like a windshield wiper, okay? Yeah. So when you watch us right here, Kev, Look at this, boom, boom. See that right there, how it's pointed at here? It's not, you know, there. And that right there, in his case, can easily arc that putter. A lot of that's just that left wrist staying firm and not breaking down. That was so good, so good. That stroke is really nice, bud. Yeah. And as far as you being finishing down the line and not having the putter swing left, holding your finish. Mm -hmm. A lot of that's just literally the visual of what happens when you just don't hold your finish and you kind of stand up and the putter just goes this way. Yeah. It's like not even your stroke. It just happens kind of as a simultaneous motion after your stroke finishes. If you watch me here, I'm not saying quit on the putt. I'm just saying like watch how much follow through I have. There's not a lot for a six foot putt here. It's just here, you know, and I, that putter finished with my big toe there. And I'm not quitting on it. Yeah. It's accelerating. It's just that it doesn't need to have the wave to it, right? Uh huh. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. And if you're somebody who has a little bit of that drag on the inside, there's nothing that prevents you from getting some tees. And just go ahead and set up. And just having those tees line up like right here, right? So I, I put some tees down, maybe like boom, 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 right? And what is that going to do? It's going to do this. It's going to basically, you know, if I were to go in here like this, right, it's going to help you finish down the line. So go ahead and take your stroke and don't bump my putter. And hold it there. See that? And you need to get used to what it's like to hold that finish. Yeah. That's the thing is, it's, it's really, I watch your stroke, and here's what you do. Now, before it was kind of too arky. But if you're here, it's down the line for a period of time, and then you just kind of finish over there. Mm -hmm. I would just get used to getting on something like this and literally just feeling like you're just boom, boom. Yeah, just holding it. Hold the finish. Boom. Okay. This is my favorite train track, period. Yeah. You know, people can say, does a ruler work? Yeah, sure it does. But this one fits in your golf bag. Mm -hmm. And what's great about it is also the nine inches that we built in front of it. It doesn't matter how break, how much break the putt has. It's on that straight line for nine inches okay. before it starts to move. Does yeah. that make sense? So it's a really nice illustration. So just feeling engaged with your core, right? Run, yeah. How about you run us through what you're feeling right now? Um, yeah, so just like... Kind of like how I felt with the club under, mm -hmm. just like feeling it all in the shoulders. You feel? Are you feeling like you're pulling the elbows in? Yeah, elbows in. Elbows in. Tighten the core, right? That was the best stroke. And here's the thing: any putt that's gone low right, mm -hmm. inside takeaway. Okay. That's why I like this for you. Your tendency is to arc that putter yeah. early a little bit. You need that first five inches to get straight back mm -hmm. there, okay? All right.
At Forzac Golf, we take a lot of pride in having developed some of the best and most consistent golf swings on the planet. We do this through simplicity. Our Full Swing Masterclass will take you on a step-by-step, easy-to-understand process on how to get your golf swing better than ever. Join the many before you who've utilized our Full Swing Masterclass to take their games to the next level and beyond.